Okay, so I did a review recently on a Mecatronic single board computer, the R57, which had the new Rockchip RK3576, which is an 8-core processor. Well, this is kind of a cyber deck based around that board. Now, this is my own mouse keyboard, but this is what they send. Uh, so this has got the board inside it in a really solid casing. We can see it's the 8 gig, 64 gig configuration, so 8 gig of RAM, 64 gig of inbuilt storage. Connectivity on the front, we've got USB 3, couple of USB 2s, USB C, 3.5mm audio jack, and also a SIM slot as well. And on the back, we've got an antenna connection, couple of LAN connections. We've got this multi in and out, which I'll show you the bits in a minute. We've also got HDMI input and output, and this is the 12 volt power supply. So these are like GPIO pins, more sort of an industrial thing. So this is a way of connecting various different machinery to this board. This is the Wi-Fi antenna. I've got a full size HDMI cable, a USB A to C cable, and the 12 volt power supply which has got a reasonable size barrel jack on it and is 36 watts and also the kettle lead as well. And if I plug it in, see it's switching on in portrait at the moment, but it does switch to landscape for Android. So Android is pre-installed and the Google Play Store is also installed as well. I haven't signed in or done anything yet. So I've plugged a few cables in, so I've got an audio jack going out of the 3.5mm into my speaker. Battery, 60%. I've also got the USB-C going into this Ugreen HDMI adapter, which is going into this monitor. So the USB-C is a DisplayPort output as well. And I've also got HDMI going into this monitor. So at the moment, uh, these displays are mirrored. In fact, all three displays are mirrored, which I think generally is what happens with Android. Obviously with Linux, we might have something different, but uh, yeah, so it has two display outputs as well as the touchscreen, and obviously this is still working. And we've got some quite cool things like drum machines on here, and mixing and all sorts of things. So quite a nice use for that. Spotify also works really well on this little screen because the interface is very suited to devices like mobile phones. So yeah, it works really, really well. These rock chip processors are really good at playing video. I found that in previous tests. Uh, so if I go to Cody here, launch movies, I have a 8K video file here. Now the monitor's not 8K, but it's playing the 8K file absolutely fine. Nice and smooth. So not struggling with that at all. And if we press information, where does it come up? Settings. Video settings, there we go, so 7680 by 4320. And the interface is nice and snappy as well. So I haven't really got anything else in here, I literally just installed that and nothing else, but yeah, we've got add-ons and Android apps, you can see, lovely and fast. Now I haven't tried the uh, HDMI in yet, so let's switch to that. And let's plug an HDMI cable into the HDMI in socket and plug it into my Raspberry Pi. Okay, let's go back, HDMI in. There you go, so there's my Raspberry Pi. So if I tap on here, Oh, and it's using it as a secondary display. So if I was to pick, say, Internet and launch Chromium, that comes up on here. And if I grab my keyboard, I can drag that. There you go. So that's coming up on the main display now. In fact, that seems to be showing at a really high resolution. So it's like it's coming through in 4K. Obviously, I've got the settings low. I think it's on 720. Um, but uh, yeah, it's definitely showing the video. In fact, if we put YouTube on. And let's start playing a video. Let's just go with this one. And full screen. So that's playing from the Raspberry Pi behind this screen. 
but going into HDMI in on the Micatronics, and you can see it looks great on the screen. So you can monitor different things with this OS. And it's all controllable on here as well, so you can see I can go home and uh, switch between the various different apps. So again, HDMI in, go straight back into that, and the Pi is still playing. So it could be a surveillance camera or various other things that you want to use it for. So if I quit out of this and go to Mechatronic's website, because I think it's already on there. So products, you can see they do some very industrial products. I've done this uh, six HDMI out device before, rack mounted. This with a camera on it, like a poseable camera. Ah, here we go, R57-5S. So spec-wise, as we know, RK3576, which is 8-core, says it's capable of 4K120 or 8K30. The touchscreen is 5-inch. GPIO is with high and low switch. M.2 PCIe port, mini PCIe, CSI and DSI connectors. It's capable of 6 tops NPU, so AI. And so we can see it's LPE DDR5 RAM. EMMC drive built in, supports Android 14, which this is running, and Debian and Armbian, the industrial ports which I mentioned earlier on. I think we need to have a look inside it. Uh, here it shows some of the other OS's. Or oh, at the time I spoke to them, Debian and Armbian was supported, but not for the touchscreen. But that might have changed by now, it was a few days ago. So let's shut this down and have a look inside. Okay, so what's the best approach? Probably to take off the sides. Hopefully this will be pretty easy to put back together. Right, do these stay in maybe? Yeah, that's wired. That might let me get the display out. Oh. Okay, so we have Oh, the display is really, really slim. Look at that. And that cable connector, so that can come off just to be out of the way for now. Yeah, it's very light. So this, well, there's no need to really take that out. That's, I can pretty much see what I need to see now. That's a really solid bit of metal. So the Wi-Fi antenna in here, there's a little Panasonic battery in there. Passively cooled, so it's been completely silent, uh, which I really like. So that was the DSi display connector and the CSi connector there. M.2 slot. Yeah, very nice. There's lots more connectivity in here which isn't being used. But they are just really solid and always really nicely put together. Okay, so thanks very much to Mechatronics for sending me this to test. It's been an interesting product. I'm just trying to think of what I would personally use it for. I could see loads of uh, industrial uses for it and uh, also home automation and things like that. But what I would use it for, I'll have to have a think about. But I like it. It's definitely different. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Please like and subscribe.